Hi, I'm Angela Bishop and welcome to Bish's Beers, your insider's look at the world of entertainment. The countdown to the Twilight Grand Finale has begun, with Robert Pattinson kicking off the worldwide publicity blitz in Australia. On again girlfriend Kristen Stewart headed to Tokyo and Taylor Lautner to Brazil. And all three won't meet up until the world premiere of Breaking Dawn Part 2 in Los Angeles. I sat down with Rob for the first of many interviews he will do between now and when the movie opens on the 15th of November and it's clear there's a lot of emotion tied up with Twilight winding down. It's day one of the worldwide promotional blitz for the Twilight finale. I was born to be a vampire. It's so beautiful. We're in the same temperature now. I didn't expect you to seem so... you? Maintaining our secret has never been more imperative. And Robert Pattinson has his work cut out for him. So it probably wasn't the ideal time to pick to kick a nasty habit. It's the dorkiest thing on the planet. I'll just quit smoking. Like, these toy, yeah, toy yeah, cigarettes. Terrible. If enough people knew the truth, maybe we could convince the Volturi to listen. Our search began looking for vampires in the most remote corners of the world. My family's in danger. I need your help. First stop, no less, for the whole Breaking Dawn juggernaut. So we feel pretty special. It wasn't just an alphabetical decision, was it? <laughs> uh, I hope not, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's embarrassing we're not actually releasing the film. I'm kind of doing an event with nothing at the end. I'm like, everyone wait for another month. <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell us about it. Obviously, I haven't seen it yet. Have you? I've seen a really rough cut because we, we did some reshoots a few months ago. And so I saw it then. But, I mean... It was almost entirely meaningless at that point. There's like no special effects in it or anything. So we're all in for a big surprise. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Especially I'm supposed to have a daughter in it where a lot of the time we were just using like a tennis ball in the oh. scene. So I'm, I'm curious what my daughter's like. <laughs> well, I've seen some pictures of the girl who plays Renee's but She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, she's great. I think she's going to be amazing. Yeah, she's really, really, yeah, she's, she's great and really, really smart. Really good actress as well. After all, Robert Pattinson and his co-star and girlfriend Kristen Stewart have been through. Fairy tales seem to be the order of the day. Given the um, the complex journey that Edward and Bella have been on all the way through these movies, do you think does it resolve to your satisfaction? Are you happy with the way it's, it all it all winds up? Yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> the ending, but like it kind of it kind of works in a. In a in a very bizarre way. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't normally get a story where everything, everyone has a happy ending in it, which sounds kind of ridiculous, but even if you try to write a happy ending for everyone, it's almost impossible. But Stephanie kind of, you know, she figured out the, the through line to making everyone have a happy ending, which creates this very odd little drama at the end. But. The ending is, it's really sweet. It's probably the sweetest moment in the whole series, so that's good. And what's it emotionally going to be like for you to let the whole Twilight thing go when, it, when it's out there and it's in cinemas and you can finally sort of say au revoir? I don't know yet. I mean, it's, it feels like quite a lot of pressure, this last one. I mean, it's kind of... It's, I mean, a lot of stuff happens in the movie and also it's just... It's just a kind of unusual, you know, there's the Hunger Games and there's other things coming out which are kind of the same market. And, uh, and now the two studios are the same as well. So I don't, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen because there's a lot of anticipation from the fans still. Between now and when Breaking Dawn Part 2 opens on the 15th of November, Robert will walk a lot of red carpets and they'll all have one thing in common, thousands of screaming fans. How do you... <laughs> it's sort of a serious question. You're, you're a musician. How do you look after your hearing? I'm completely deaf. Are you? Yeah. Like, I mean, are it, you seriously? It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm like an old man now. I'm like, I don't know if it's because of that, but um, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was bad concentration for a few years, but now I'm like, no, I actually can't hear anything. Wow. And you've got a month of deafening screams coming yeah. up. You literally, I mean, it, 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 it's embarrassing when it goes a little quiet then suddenly people start noticing but you're just repeating the same conversation. <laughs> just oh, like, oh, no. hey, how you doing? Yeah, that's be it. Nothing you're saying is making any sense <laughs> as you're going along. <laughs> and sometimes people notice that you're just speaking nonsense. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, Are you looking forward to a time when you do do a red carpet and open a film and perhaps there's just no screaming? Perhaps there's just a normal red carpet? 
Yeah, it'd be funny. I remember I went to, before I did Twilight, I went to a few premieres mm. and, uh, and there's no one there. And it's just so bizarre. I mean, like, I mean, I remember, I mean, this not specifically against this film, but I mean, I thought it was a great film, this thing, The Family Stone. And I remember going to it just before Twilight came out. And, uh, and they had big people in that movie. And no one lines up for the premiere. The normal premiere, there's not people <laughs> waiting around. It's just for photographers. And it's just sort of, I mean, it's such a totally different experience. I mean, uh, I, yeah, I can't even, I can't even imagine what it would be like without that. You are coming back here because you're going to be making a movie called The Rover with Guy Pearce and David Michaud from mm. Animal Kingdom fame. When does all that start? Uh, January. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. I think he's, I, think I mean, David's absolutely incredible. I thought Animal Kingdom was one of the best debut movies in like 10 years. So, And it's an amazing script. So I think it's going to be really cool. And... Um, the social media has been going crazy with your arrival here in Australia as the fans get ready. You're not on it still, are you? Is it something you ever think you'll you'll go on to be able to talk to the fans directly through through Twitter and that sort of thing? I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I mean, it's just kind of... <laughs> I probably regret everything that I put on it. That, I mean, I can't understand how people, how people are okay with, with uh, tweeting stuff. I mean... God, the amount of the amount of times my friends have just done absolutely ridiculous things on on Twitter and all that stuff, which they've regretted afterwards. And you do it if you're famous, and it's uh, potentially like going to destroy your career. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe I try and stay as quiet as possible. Angela Bishop, Ten News.